moving on to the next topic it is again on identifying points lines and planes here the figure is given and we need to solve for the following they are asking us to name a line containing the point q whenever they mention such things first see where is the point q it's over here now can, you, can this is the line you can obviously identify it's not on the other line it's on this line so the line is c so the answer is basically line c that's it or you can write the additional names for the line c a line can be written see two points the two points any two points on the line must be mentioned and this must be drawn to indicate it's a line that means it goes on extends forever so that is the thing over here you can see the two points can be tr or rt or tq and uh, qt or rq and qr so these are the other names for the line c the next problem we have been asked which plane contains the points s and t now a plane is always mentioned uh, with three points so here you can see the plane a is mentioned so you can write it as a or since they are mentioned the points s and t you can write it as str this can be a plane or rts or stq so please make sure you mention these two points and then add one more point because plane must be mentioned by three points as you can see over here but as a line is only two plane is three now uh, they have also asked another name for the plane a so since it'll be in mcq you will have options over here whether it is plane qst or plane stv and so on let's see one by one let's start from over here vst let's see v s t since this point v is outside the plane a this cannot be included if you include that it's a wrong this is outside so the points which are within the plane all these points can be mentioned to make the plane so this is wrong you can't mention v so this will be wrong over here also v is there it's wrong wrong so the first option is your correct answer so let's see q s t Q S T is within the plane A, and so this is the correct interpretation of the plane A. Uh, we have a figure over here, and they are asking us to name all the objects. See now, this is a book. It can be modeled as a plane. The ends of this can be modeled as a line, and uh, you know this pen is a line. This point over here is a point and so on usually you will be asked question to mention say for example which are the lines in the book and they'll give you four options go through all the options and deduce the correct one so these are just the sample answers and over here just like the last topic we solved it in the last video similarly they have asked us how many planes appear in this figure over here you can see one is this outer plane then you can see this uh, pentagonal pyramid it has one two back side over here three back over here four and the side one five so five planes in the pentagonal pyramid and one plane outside so there will be total six planes and you can see over here and they have mentioned all the names you should mention it as d a e or e a f and so on now name four points that are collinear so you need a line which has four points so you can't take this because this has only two this has only three let's see for the line with four points you can see this line it has h i c f so this is a line which is having four points so they are all collinear so that is the thing h i c and f name the intersection of plane g a c where is G, A, C and the plane P. So whenever they mention like this, search, where is it? G, A, C is over here. So what is the intersecting point? It's the line C, G or G, C. So this is the answer. You can write it as G, C or C, G. It's one and the same. And lastly, we have at what point do J, I and D, C intersect? 
so let's see where is gi over here where is dc now intersection means they touch each other they cut each other you can see these are not touching in this figure so this is it does not appear to intersect so now um uh, th that's the thing that's the answer you know because over here you can clearly see they're not touching and uh, the answer will be just they do, do not intersect that would be the answer so they have, they are very straightforward one important thing to remember whenever they ask you any question make sure you see where it is say gac see where it is in the figure that'll make easy or you can just try to you know uh, draw the figure in a paper and just make sure you highlight it so you can understand it easily and then see what is the other thing that is mentioned and then figure it out because there are so many parts over here but they will ask only one or two parts so make sure you highlight the uh, given parts in the question and then solve it up it'll be much easier so i can understand gac is this and the plane and so on